Good evening, everyone. My name is Tamil Chelvan Krishnan. So today we will do a group presentation for report, uh, written report presentation for a group project for the subject SBLE3123 English Proficiency 3. So in our group that consists of uh, six people, that is first it, is, it will be me, second will be Saiful Hakim bin Ramli, third will be Sharil Hazli bin Swaimi, fourth will be Mohamad Fazli bin Ibn Haja, fifth will be Mohamad Nurazwan bin Abdul Rahman, and the last one is Samuelu Analaki Subayan. So for the presentation, it will be presented to our lecturer, Madam Roida Yahya. So what is actually uh, report that I would like to present is about uh, drive through pharmacy. Basically, in UUM, there is no any uh, problem that uh, statement, problem statement that the UUM people, students and the staff is facing right now, there is no any pharmacies. So what will we suggest that can develop in the faculty will be a drive through pharmacy because UUM uh, is one of the best university, one of the best university in Malaysia. The people who like to plan to study undergraduate business program. So University Uttara Malaysia has extensive accommodation based on data, approximately 18 to 20,000 students that is studying right now, uh, that is uh, being residized, residing in 15 types of hostel. So University of Uttara Malaysia have a huge academic building center that consists academic uh, department faculty, hence the prepared uh, library for the student to do finding and research within the latest reference of journal. Besides uh, that, there is a variety of food of available at UEM Canteen with affordable flies. So most of the student that is going full-time student that is going to study degree have to stay uh, at the campus for the next three to four years. So basically, they would like to complete, they will stay in the campus for the student. So health is very important for all of us. It's not only for the student. It's a, in a general statement, health is very important. It can be for infants, like babies, uh, children, adults, or senior citizen. The difficulties right now the students face during their campus life, there is no pharmacy shop nearby. So students who live inside the campus, combination of uh, there will be a combination of Malaysian students and also international students. So they also, there is a student who have a medical issue. So when they facing this kind of medical uh, issue and there is no any pharmacies around nearby the campus, so they have to travel new to the near town, Changlun, to it's approximately around 10 to 15 kilometers for them to get a medical assistance if you want, they want to buy a medicine or get seek medical attention. So they also have some difficulties as well for traveling. If for those students who don't have any transport, so they have to book uh, the transportation by grab or seeking help with the friends who have a transformation uh, transportation to get a medical attention or pharmacies nearby to this uh, town of Changlun. That's the problem statement that I'll present about the drive through pharmacies. So I will hand over to my friend to address the next issue and the solution available. Thank you. Okay, thank you to Mr. Tamer for the space. My name is Shari Hazli Ben Shwami, number metric 260215. Okay, I want to tell about a recommended solution. Uh, therefore, we would like to recommend three things to overcome this problem. They are for the number one, uh, to build a mini pharmacy shop at the UM Sito campus. This is very good for uh, staff or student to take a uh, medicine or vitamin and second is uh, to build a mini drive through pharmacy shop at UM Sinto. It's also the good for the good idea to uh, make the drive, uh, drive through for the pharmacy and then the last one is uh, the build in mini pharmacy shop and drive through pharmacy at UM Sinto campus. Okay, open uh, our decision with a uh, fellow group member. We decide to build the mini pharmacy shop at UM Sito campus. This proposal will be very beneficial to the student and also reduce the level 
of difficulties of warriors among students. By building this pharmacy also provide the level of concern student health issue. Uh, that's all for me and to pass for our friend. Good evening to everyone. Good evening, madam. My name is Sami Vilu and I like give you My metric number is 206372. Okay, now my topic, uh, my title is description and analysis of the mini pharmacy shop. Okay, come to the point. Students at the UM Sinto campus will have the opportunity to purchase medicines, vitamins, medical equipment, which is uh, basic needed for everyone. Besides that, they also can get a basic medication, condition awareness, allergics, basic prospective med uh, medication service, such as a headache, fever, musculoskeletal, uh, uh, injuries and disorders. Disorders related to men's, men's nutrition, colds and allergy, cough and heartburn, heartburn and diapesia, intestinal gas, conceptions, diarrhea, inorectal disorders, pain warm, infection, nausea and vomiting, Overweight and obesity, minor burns, sunburn, and wounds, isomania, drawings, and fatigue. And another part is pharmacy shop can be open at 8 a.m. till 3, uh, 10 p.m. Wednesday and weekend. Compulsory to open every day because health is uh, very uncertain at this era and during pandemic. In terms of safety, the following restriction needed to emphasize. First, duplication of medicines. Second is poor quality of medicine. Third is doctor's pres uh, prescriptions compulsory. But, uh, uh, sorry, for the number four is by your safety and the five is concern of pharmacy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sami. Uh, I am Muhammad Norazdam Bia Abdul Rahman. Uh, number metric uh, 258649. Uh, uh, benefit recording. Good monitoring record need to be done so that pharmacy staff can trace the student record, which can be viewed for uh, an emergency and head purpose. Besides that, pharmacy need to it, the report of medicine, health and safety. Implementing new pharmacy center with gain with the students and staff of at UAM. will provide safety on health and no need travel for away for normal condition. For students and staff to purchase any medicine with the UMC Inter campus. This will be a good job in implementation for promoting and to future students. Potential to generate safety and to generate income for UGM organization. In addition, students also can work. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you to my friend, Mr. Azwan. So I will continue this slide. My name is uh, Saiful Hakim Beramli. My mentor is number 260207. Uh, implementation. The management of University Utara Malaysia should work on a proposal by selecting the most suitable and trusted supplier. They need to advertise or contact pharmaceutical company in Malaysia. They need to select the appropriate location to start up a pharmacy shop or center, which is very convenient for students to purchase their products. Opening inventory financing, this will pay for initial products to stock your store. 
while well, seller usually provide favorable terms remember that you are unlikely to have a positive cash flow for at least six months to plan your opening inventory your seller can give you a sample prescription medication order for a pharmacy of your size that you can tweak working capital which includes staff and other the others involve utilities damage or emergency expenses so uh, you can see uh, the attachment below for retail or location uh, I spend uh, around about uh, 2000 and for renovation uh, I spend about uh, 30,000 and for medical equipment around 100,000 for staff around 10,000 and others around 50,000 so you all can see the attachment below that's total investment needed to start a pharmacy is around 210,000 so that's all from me I will pass to my friend uh, Mr. Fazli Okay, thank you, uh, thank you Mr. Saiful my name is Muhammad Fadli bin Ibni Hajar, uh, metric number 259984 and the question is uh, if this proposal is successful and approved by the UGM top management, so this will be a uh, value added for UGM by achieving uh, their future vision on and objective. Uh, hence, will be benchmark for other public universities besides USM, UKM uh, and UM. These universities already establish uh, a pharmacy center at their uh, campus. Uh, in fact, a uh, uh, number of students intake will rise and also prove uh, that UM is very caring and concerned on students' health, uh, which will create a good uh, image among students and parents. So that's all from our group uh, presentation for this proposal. Uh, thank you and Assalamualaikum.